Hello guys, and welcome to my Let's Play of Far Cry New Dawn. Now, I almost didn't get this game, alright, because it, it's been getting mixed reviews, and I, I think the only reason why it has is just because um, it's pretty much more of the same Far Cry, which is exactly what I expected it to be <laughs> before release, so I don't know if people were disappointed, but they shouldn't have been because Far Cry New Dawn. Far Cry has always been the same since like Far Cry 3. So, um, I am a fan of the series. You know, I I've always enjoyed playing Far Cry games. Um, and since this is only $40 as opposed to 60, I did choose this over Metro Exodus. I'm not saying Metro Exodus is better. It probably is. But, you know, for $40, I just... I, I, I kind of chose this over that. Um, I, I will get Metro Exodus later on. I'm not sure when, but... Uh, and might do a Let's Play of that. Uh, I heard that was a little long, but... Um, yeah, well, let, let, let's just play New Dawn. Uh, setting up profile. Logging in. I'm not, I'm not online right now. I'm offline, so... Hopefully I can play this offline. Okay. Alright, survival game. What's that? Oh, survival guide. I thought that's some game. New game. Select a body type. I guess that's a woman. Oh, woman or man. Alright. As captain of security for Thomas Rush, your mission is to secure and build settlements across America. So this is a... Honestly, I don't really... I mean, I, I know... The story and exploring the open world. I am an explorer in open world games, so I guess I'll probably do Explorer. Um, so, for those of you guys who like it tough, you know, sometimes I don't. Because in open world games, I tend to like going at my own pace. And don't like getting overcome by, like, level enemies and stuff. So, just... Don't, Don't judge, judge me. me. All right. Oh, it's starting right now. The graphics are really gorgeous. Um, so yeah, this takes place after the event. My name is Carmina Wright. <clears throat> Never mind. The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash, and cold, and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Whoa. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly, but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But, like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the west coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them. Convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope. Our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Okay. 
Okay, like like I was saying, um, this game basically spoils the events of the fifth game. It takes place right after a nuclear holocaust or whatever. Um, so this is like the post-apocalyptic Far Cry. Uh, it takes place in the same setting as um, Five Hope County. Um, I think the map is a little bit smaller though. They they kind of blocked off some areas. Um, this is a load screen. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So, when I do this Let's Play, I'm going to cut out all the busy work. I'm not going to show, you know, every outpost I take out. I'm not going to show my entire, you know... 15 or 20 hours to, you know, 100% this game. I'll probably just show the story. Um, Captain! Captain, you're alive! Jesus! You're heading this way? Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! But first, give me a gun. Those the fucking highwaymen! They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Hey, how about you fucking help me? Huh? Tell me, tell me to get up and there's a goddamn shelf. Jesus, I mean. Barnes, screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive. Help me. No, we have no time. We gotta go. Barnes, we are not leaving the cabin behind. Yeah, see? That's what you should have been doing. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. We need you to find a way out of here. Hey, hey, easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Oh, I lead. Okay, thanks a lot. I lead with a knife, and you guys probably have fucking dual pistols. All right. Oh no, you guys are nothing. All right, let's uh, let's oh let's uh loot some of this stuff. We got Yuka blasting caps. Thomas, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to write, but here it is. After the Hope County job, I'm out. That girl traveled for months on foot just to find help. She told us her home is a war zone and could barely describe the horrors she's seen. The horror. I think you're too blinded by your ambition to see the danger you're heading towards. You saved my life, and I'll always be grateful for your time together. I'm sorry if I'm a disappointment. Yours, Garrett Barnes. Med kit, nice. All right. This way, Barnes. Stick with the cap. We should cut our losses and run. We'll be fine. Okay, what guys. I don't know where I'm going, so don't advise you follow me 100%. I guess I'm going this way then. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that guy. That guy's head's crushed. Enough fooling around. Oh shit! Oh, that's a sniper, right? Is that a sniper? I have to go in this way. I don't get shot. Read. Russ's journal. All sediments to the rest. Ah, oh, West Coast doing well. Went to Norm Mila's in good hands with her. I'm just gonna do a Resident Evil 2 and just kind of read this while you read it. There's a lot of read to be had in this game. Okay, so we're dealing with the highway men right now. The, that's basically like the main antagonist group of this game. There's always a, a specific antagonist in all these games. Why is everyone's heads being crushed? Okay, I can go all the way down there. I have to go past, I have to get across this bridge. I'm gonna have to stealth this. I'm in my sister. Is there a gun in here? Please give me a gun. I don't need black powder. Is there anyone even here? Another med kit. Hey! Hey, revive! 
I can revive this guy. Or girl, sorry. Ah. Uh, blasting caps. Ooh, gun! Got me a handgun. Nice. Hey, let me shoot my friends. Uh. Oh, hello. This is what you get for fucking with the highway. I don't need a shield. I'll just melee this guy. Can I melee? <laughs> How do you not see me? I'm like right in front of you. Loot yourself. Anyone need reviving? Liberate? Liberate this guy. These two are dead. Got my doubts about this mission. I know we're supposed to help people. I know that. But the stories I keep hearing about these higher men. Our team's never faced anything like that before. I look at the others and I see it in their eyes. But at the end of the day, the people in Hope County are suffering. They need your help. Thomas Russ believes we can do this. If so does the captain. We have to believe it too. I don't believe in any of this. Well, can I... Oh, is that the same weapon? Let's keep moving. We gotta save these people. The sooner we find okay. everyone, the better. My god. The highwaymen are everywhere. I really think we should get out of here. Okay. Stay calm. Why is there so many papers? Some say Hope County's doing so well because the mountains are sheltered from the blast. You know what? I'm already 12 minutes into this. I'll just speed read it, and you can pause it. I don't like having a lot of text in my Let's Plays, man. I really gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop, stop choosing games that have enormous amounts of written dialogue. Hey! I am hot shit. What are you talking about? What are you talking about fool? Hey! Bitch. Oh shit, I'm spotted. Hey. Yeah, you guys are all weak. Oh shit. No, damn it. <laughs> I killed an innocent civilian. Okay. I can't tell who's good and bad. Rush, it's Carmina. Rush, if you're alive, head to the river. Okay, I'm just gonna run, man. I, I gotta run. Carmina's alive. You heard the lady. Let's get to the river. Captain Get to the river now. Ah, sniper. Ah. Hey. Give me that. Damn four wheeler. Don't run me over. This storm's getting bad. I've got sand in my eyes, and there's highwaymen everywhere. Uh, get to the river. I'm getting to the river. I'm here. Alright. Everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. <sighs> what do we have here? Rabbit. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we would have noticed? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers, no problem makes. What? 
Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? Do I get a choice? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me. But Rush here. Well, then you are going to be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you gonna get a bullet to the dome? Oh. Okay. You done? So, let's try this again. Gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Hmm. Okay. Save yourself. <laughs> okay. So those are the main antagonists right there, the twins. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. Hey. I recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? I recognize you from the intro. I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but... Near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. Okay. I can do this. We have to be careful. I can do this. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Hmm. Okay, we, we have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Mom always know what to do. Mom! Mom! Hello, Miss Help me! Find Hope. This is a beautiful fucking game. Look how gorgeous this is. Holy shit. I believe what happened. God damn. They must have seen the train come in. It's fucking good it. graphics, man. Find hope. No missions. Where's the map? Is there a map? No map yet? Twins. Nikki and Lou. The first time I saw them was when they came to our house. So um, it was their house now. And we could either leave no. willingly or they'd burn it down with us inside. My dad tried to okay. fight. So they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. Hey, keep up there, Tut. We weren't there only then. But my mom managed to bring survivors together and we all tried to build a place where we This ain't no walking simulator. Open world action game. Let's go. That's a going adventure. 
Might that be mom and wet banana? Hey, a pink car. There's a lot of pink in this game. There's a tunnel up there that leads to Hope County. The highwaymen are blocking our way. We're gonna need some firepower. Let's keep moving. Yeah, sniper. Who's there? It's Arthur, you dumbass. Hey, don't mind me. I'm, I'm her friend. Newly acquainted. I passed through that old mine when I left to get help. There's a workbench inside. You can use it to build a weapon. Fly, birdie. Rush was supposed to be the one of peace, so that hey. finally fight back. But now... I can chase ya. I'm sorry about your people. Uh, always do the, uh... The ropes to indicate that you can climb on something. That's an Ubisoft staple right there. There's that workbench I told you about. Rush said you were resourceful, so let's build something. Yeah, I've collected a lot of junk. So let's make something. Components. Uh, duct tape. The staple of all things repair. Anything else? No? Alright, I think that's that. I think I... Oh, oh, yeah, I have full med kits. I might have to up the difficulty till normal, because that, that first fight was really, really easy. I killed, killed guys in, like, one hit. So, well, we'll see. Sometimes I under, uh, underestimate my skills. Sometimes I overestimate... Game's difficulties. Can I kick this? Ah, yes. More components and duct tape. Nice. Let's see what we can make. You can use benches like this to build makeshift weapons and refill ammo. Take a look at what weapons we can craft. Alright. Yeah, we need more resources. We're gonna have to poke around and scare oh. some up. Oh, I'm only missing like one component and two... Damn duct tape, really? Alright. I'm picking some flowers here, if you don't mind. I don't need it, but... Hey, remember to look up high, too. What? Oh. Hang on a second, I'm going the wrong way. Get up. <clears throat> Am I supposed to climb? Break that and see what's behind ah, there. There we go. Okay, I still need more duct tape though. Come on, give me more duct tape. Sometimes you have to break something to look behind it. Huh? I kick the lockers open. Oh, there's duct tape. Alright. Now it's time to build a pink weapon or whatever the hell. Oh, is that a crossbow? Oh, it's a saw launcher. Huh, okay. Yes, I'll take that. Alright, nice. I want to see what you can slide together. Holy shit, is that some kind of... Not funny. Holy shit, is that some kind of... Not too funny. That's amazing. <laughs> is that some kind of... <laughs> Slice our head off. Wow, that's <gasps> disturbing. Ow. Alright, there's an enemy right there. Mark him. Oh, hit both of them. Okay. I thought I would have to, like, run up to the second one with a knife. Got the pistol. Alright, we going? Set up this road. Oh, 
right. Med kit, a max belt. Oh shit. God damn it. I'm here, guys. John Wick style. I'm thinking I'm back. Am I all out of ammo for that? Hey. Armpit slice. Who else wants a piece of me? You? Pop! One bullet? That's all it really takes, huh? Oh, God, my kidney! Ugh. My ulcer! Hey! I want that! Oh, no! Someone's down. Oh, God, my penis. Hang on a second. Let me just uh, revive her. Help me. Oh. Hey, dog. else? I'm just shooting them in the stomach. I like the stomach shot. You don't like that. Uh, now I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that. That's, that's interesting, even though I don't... Okay, alright, I got 15. 15 of them. Alright, we took out this place very easily. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, me, me too. Actually, I, I don't think I've been through easier. Oh, that's the mounted gun. All right, let's proceed. No, I don't. I don't want the shotgun. All right. I kind of wanted to go in the bus, but there's nothing in there anyway. Not that I see. Okay. A few hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob. Three hours later. Okay. Come on. We're almost there. Yeah, this is gorgeous. It's very unusual for a post apocalyptic. There it is. Makes you wonder if this is what it would really look like, you know. Kind of doubt it, but to have like really beautiful, overgrown places. Home. I hope Mom is okay. Me too. Prosperity. That's the name of a city, I guess, or town, whatever. I guess that's the name of it. I hear Anthem has really, really bad load screens. I hear Anthem, which I'll never get, has like five minute long load screens or something fucking ridiculous. This is probably just loading the rest of the game, maybe. Oh, Carmina! Oh, thank God! I was so worried. Mom? Uh, kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? With the twins? They took Rush? 
Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Me too. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. I thank you for not hugging me back. You know, you know, for uh, saving your daughter. All right, part one. Prosperity. Valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice. Now it's up to us to do all the busy work that he probably would have done in the game, apparently. Thank you, Russ. Thank you for, quote, saving me by pushing me off a goddamn 200-foot waterfall. And realistically, probably would have broken my neck. And, uh, yeah, making me do all your work for you. So, yeah. Hi, sir. Kind of a fate worse than death, don't you think? Hope County survivors. A lot of us around here were preppers. So despite the clusterfuck with Eden's Gate, we managed to scrape through nuclear winter. In recent years, some people came to Hope County. Some were pushed south and cold north. Others from the famine and disease out east. At first, we're all sort of kept to ourselves, but gradually a sense of community was reborn. We started accomplishing more once we were able to start trusting each other again. And so the higher women showed up, this, the worst had, the worst we had to deal with were the wild animals. Now we wish losing everything we've worked so hard for. Come so, come back, with help. no missions, no anything. Okay. So, I have to. So, this is it. Home. Mom's right. The two of us can work together to build this place back up. Anytime you need a hand, give me a call. I'll come fight by your side, Cap. Oh, nice. You don't mind if I call you Cap, right? Fine. Captain of security just sounds, well, a little formal. Listen, you have been put through the ringer. What's wrong with Captain? I want to change of clothes before we get started. There's some stuff over there. You should probably talk to Mom. She'll give you the rundown on what we can do for prosperity. Whatever else happens, Gee, I'm glad Carmina. thank you, Carmina. Or should I call you Car? I think Carmina's a little bit too long. I'll just call you Car from now on. Oh, I'd ride in that car. <laughs> Read, oh, another one. This is what's left the Eden Gate. Eden's Gate. And what Joseph grew from it once he left his bunker. They've completely rejected everything to do with the modern world before the collapse. Electricity, engines, generators, guns, it's all gone. Gone! After the collapse, Joseph gathered all his people and built a new compound up north. Is he still alive? Is Joseph Steve still alive? For the better part of a decade, we left each other alone while he re rebuilt. Now they only leave their compound at night to attack the highwaymen. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear these mass fuckers are afraid of Joseph's people. I hope Joseph is in this game. I hope I meet Joseph Seed. I, I actually thought he was a really good character in uh, Far Cry 5. Um... Barely feed myself before they showed up. I'm still not allowed to get out of here yet. I think I have to talk to somebody else. Change clothes. I gotta change my clothes. Blue. John Seed's Ranch. A thousand of side missions. Okay. We got some side missions here. Um. So much food for. Huh. 
Yeah, Mickey and Lou, we already know them. Yeah, they're they're basically the 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 area's bullies. They're they're the they're the game's bullies. And we gotta stand up to them. And kick them kick them right in their vaginas. Alright, change up my clothes. Please make some choices before we proceed to customization. None of these guys look like me. They all have hair. That's why. Um, I don't know. I I guess maybe the first one. Just yes, confirm. Now let's have some get up. I get a uh, Breaking Bad looking guy right there. Gee, what would I wear? On a regular occasion. Probably just that. Yeah, just that. Yeah, I'd get some hat. Uh, that looks mostly like my hat. That, you know? So now it looks like he could be bald. <laughs> uh, uh, Ooh, that's some facial hair. That's uh, the Dutch Vanderlyn here. Um, I guess I'll just go with that one. Yeah, I think we're good. Confirm. All right, that was quick and painless. Honestly, didn't think Carmina would come back, let alone with help. I've got some things to tell you. Yeah, what do you what do you need? My name is Kim. I guess you could say I run things around here. I know you've already been through a lot, Captain. But the truth is, we need all the help we can get. And at the moment, you're it. We thought your people on that train were going to give us an edge. We were all going to work together to grow things, make things. We were gonna fight back against the twins. Oh, yeah, I like All fighting that back. Is gone now. So, it's up to us. We've got a lot of work to do. Let me show you how things work around here. This is prosperity. If we're gonna have a fighting chance against the highwaymen, the first thing we've gotta do is get this place up and running. Okay. We have several facilities to make prosperity thrive. These are the places where you can craft weapons and vehicles, cultivate plants for health, and many other things. Okay. This is Hope County. In order to get the most out of our facilities, we need ethanol to upgrade them. Your map shows the highwaymen outposts, where they store the ethanol they stole from us. Secure these locations to get what we need. Busy work. You just go in. And here's where you can find specialists people with the expertise to really give us a fighting chance against the twins bring them home and they'll make prosperity and you stronger but without Thomas Rush none of this is gonna work he's built up settlements before and without his knowledge we won't be able to take prosperity to the next level lately the twins are sending a lot of prisoners to the coal mine I'd start looking there okay so that's it we rescue Rush find people who can run the facilities and bring them enough ethanol to maximize what we can craft. Thank you for you summarizing the entire game. We can to help you. Okay. That's the entire game in a nutshell. But it feels worth Alright. The highwaymen don't think about, think about tomorrow. They're short-sighted. Everything's about the now. Hmm. No investment in anything, no plans for the future. They do what they want, when they want, without a care in the world for who or what that might affect. Alright. Um, what's all these cursors? Alright, so... That's a, a fairly... Fairly decent size for a $40 game. It's not as big as Primal, but... Yeah, certainly not as big as five either, so some areas are kind of locked off, so it kind of play the center of it, you know. 
Um, yeah, so, um, guys, I'm probably gonna wrap up this first episode. Um, when we come back, all this map is probably gonna be cleared out. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do as much busy work as I can, uh, prior to the next story mission. Um, so, you know, you get the outpost, which basically... All you do is, um... Just, like, take over enemy outposts, uh, stealth or combat. Um... You could refer to my Far Cry 5 review, I think, if you want more information on, on the gameplay of Far Cry and what things look like. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's just the same. Alright guys, so um, stay tuned for uh, episode 2. We're probably going to be uh, rescuing uh, Rush. Maybe. We'll see. Stay tuned.